Hello everyone, <clears throat> here's Richard for you again. You know, I l used to live in the Australian bush. I spent uh, 20 years out there building architecture, fixing fences, 40 kilometers of them, running sheep, running cattle, and finally a tourist business, business with my family. Very nice, secluded place. And what I liked most of the lifestyle out in the forest is, or was, <clears throat> that I could encounter people one by one. You know, not every day somebody came, some, some of my friends came out was just, you know, you had to be organized 30 kilos, kilometers away from town, uh, seven kilometers away from the next neighbor. You know, even when you, um, when you went out there, you had to make sure somebody's home. Of, although most of the time we were home, all right. But what uh, the encounters w we had, you know, is um, almost just as much one-to-one -one as, as we are here on the net. Because really, isn't it, that what we give is like a mirror. It's a mirror in which we are reflected. And the response we get is an endorsement. So... What I would like to uh, say is that early on in the piece, I somehow felt that everything in life is a part. You know, while um, the materialistic orientated society used to tell us, ah, oh, you can only count on what is black and white or you can only count on that which you can grab and feel. And uh, fantasy, you know, was, uh, was uh, pointed out to be a bad job. You know, uh, poetry is just something that, you know, something you, you can't really buy yourself anything for. So I became an artist. And I did a lot of things which, <laughs> which you can't buy yourself anything for unless they are, uh, your, your work is accepted by others. And then once it starts to be recognized as a contribution to um, the enrichment of other people's lives, you know, suddenly it uh, becomes real. And uh, just today I was uh, confronted with the saying by um, Albert Einstein that uh, uh, fantasy is a part of this world. And uh, really by having it, by, by willingly creating in fantasy, you are um, experiencing a preview of life's attractions. And as the word attraction says, you know, what you preview, what you fantasize, is really what you attract. See, and here we are at our nature of being creative, of being what we can fantasize. You know, who wants to limit life to a nine-to-five job and... You know, doing the ordinary every day just to feel safe. You know, because it is all about feeling safe. The society, you know, give, give society, give mankind a bit of terrorism to, give, to create fear and you've got them nicely in your grip. You know, you tell them 
what they should buy. You tell them what they want. You tell them how to get security and how to pay for it. So what I'm really saying is the freedom is there for us to have. And if we allow our online success, you know, the sharing with billions of us, and I'm consciously saying us because we all are a variation of the one. You know, it's me, it's you, it's everyone. And by sharing amongst so many of us, we can have a very successful and fulfilling life because life is, and here it comes, and I really say it with passion, life is about sharing. We do business so we can share. We can speak so we can share. We have to dress so we can share. So there is a reason for us to do something, to share something. Oh, okay, I'll look after you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now, Richard.